Good morning, everybody. Uh, leaving the house, getting ready to go to work. So I will not be able to comment too much on chats, but I will try to pay attention to them. Uh, so right now I don't have anybody in the stream, but we will see a few people here in a few minutes. So. So up to work I go. Hey, howdy, hey. So this is an 18 mile drive for me. And if there's anybody in the chat, let me know if you can hear me okay. Morning, Chicago. 58 degrees out. Uh, going up to a high of 77 today. We'll be in the 80s tomorrow and 90s uh, all weekend. Saturday will be the coolest day at 94. Sunday, Monday, it'll be a 98, 99. So we got another heat wave coming. So that's what's going on. But enjoy the commute. Uh, let me know when you're in the chat. And I will say hi. I do make a stop and get my morning coffee. Don't judge me. It's the only thing I get at Starbucks is a frappuccino. And yes, being a diabetic, I know I shouldn't have it, but my blood sugars are very low this morning, so I need to boost them a little bit. So. So I'll start talking more when more people come in. Right now I don't have anybody viewing, but hopefully we'll have some people in soon. Or if you catch this later, at least you're going to be able to see what my daily drive is. My significant other Donna has a 10 mile shorter commute. I go 18 and a half miles. She goes eight and a half miles every day. She goes into the city, I stay in the suburbs. And this is suburban, west suburban Chicago. This is uh, Addison, Illinois on my right, and on my left is Villa Park, Illinois. I'm currently on Fullerton Avenue, which is a main industrial uh, thoroughfare out here um, through Addison. This is our industrial area. going westbound. And for those that are directionally disabled, with like some people I know, uh, westbound for me, then if I kept on going through the state of Illinois, the next state would be Iowa. So everybody has the information every Friday night at 7 o'clock Central Time, with the exception of a few dates. Uh, I do go live on YouTube and Facebook, Friday Night Live with OCB and Friend, 
friends. We talk about cruising, we talk about travel, and we talk about general topics. So, uh, feel free to catch us on Friday nights at 7 o'clock Central, 8 o'clock Eastern, to uh, join the conversation and enjoy the comedy and the madness that ensues from time to time. So now I'm heading southbound and I'm on Grace Street. I need to get my morning coffee. This is the west end of the industrial section. On the left is the industrial section. On the right is the uh, forest preserve. Uh, over here they have a uh, drone and helicopter, model helicopter, model airplane uh, field where you can uh, fly your equipment. That's where I do take my drones and fly uh, just to keep my skills home. Um, really don't do any video shooting there because there's not much to do there and capture. Um, so, and they got a festival out here this weekend, which is for the Greek, uh, I'm sorry, the Lebanese uh, Catholic Church. Now I'm going in to get my morning coffee. Yes, I preach. Dunk, dunk, friends don't let friends drink Starbucks. Um, I only drink one thing at Starbucks, which is uh, Rappuccinos. It's the only thing I can tolerate. And of course, there is a long line this morning, which is unlike this location. So we'll just sit in line and wait here. Hopefully we'll get some people into view. If so, welcome aboard. It's a balmy 56 degrees outside today. <clears throat> I know most of you are watching CME at this time. Definitely continue watching them. I'll be on here for a little while. It takes me about 50 minutes to get to work. I'll be there about 7.50. Not going to be parking in my normal space today because I'm going to have to run upstairs, grab some things, and run out immediately from the office. So that's how my day is. <clears throat> so enjoy the ambient sounds and the visuals of my drive uh, won't be speaking until we get anybody on the, in on the chat so um, but definitely again if you uh, like what I'm doing and want to see more uh, go ahead like and subscribe also would help if you can share out the channel um, as well as our Friday night live streams with OCV and friends talking about the cruise industry travel general topics, and of course, a lot of humor. Um, come and join us uh, every Friday night at 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Our next uh, live stream will be on September 8th. We won't have one this weekend due to the Labor Day holiday, but definitely drop by. Um, and if someone's in the chat, let me know if you can hear me. Or are you just going to lurk? Which is fine. I welcome lurkers. Pretty busy here today. Normally it's not this busy. Hi, Keisha. Hi. Right. You can hear me okay, Keisha? The car in front of me doesn't want to move. Hold on while I order my coffee. Oh, 
Hi, welcome. What can I get started for you today? Uh, Vente Java Chip Frappuccino, two extra scoops of Java Chips. We got you. We'll do the extra Java Chips on that. Vente Java Chip Frappuccino. Anything else I can get you? Nope, that's it. All right, sweet, 655. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll give it. Well, thank you for coming in, Keech. I appreciate it. Um, so, uh, so sitting at the Starbucks drive-thru. Yeah, I know. I preach don't drink Starbucks, but I only drink Frappuccinos from here, and I needed a little sugar boost this morning. Um, so, uh, normally the drive-thru here is not uh, that long, but it seems like they're busy today. I guess a lot of people hitting the road for the holiday, getting their coffee for the road. Uh, also be aware, Saturday, um, time to be determined. Uh, I'm going to be doing a road trip to Michigan. I will be live streaming it as well as vlogging it. Uh, we're going to Michigan to purchase peaches and blueberries and also go to the winery. So we'll keep you updated on that as two times. Uh, just watch the channel for notifications. Hi, welcome. What can I start for you today? <clears throat> guy in front of me is too busy playing with his phone and driving. You know that weird old Hank of song stuck in the drive thru? That's how I feel right now. Again, too busy playing on his phone instead of paying attention to moving in the drive in drive through. Uh, weird hell, you were so right. <clears throat> All right. Almost at the window. My favorite girl at the window this morning. Yeah, I just don't get. I'll go here that often to use the app, Keisha. So, I might come here like once or twice a week. So, yeah. Good morning. How you doing today? Doing good. Good. Six fifty-five. Please thank you. You're welcome. Another day, right? Yep. Another day. Another day. Another day, another dime. I know that's right. And if I get a if I get a raise, I'm gonna end up getting making a buck three eighty. That's what's up. I heard that. You got three forty five. You got it, bro. All right. I believe in you. Yep. Have a wonderful day. Yep. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. Alrighty, All righty. All right. Going. You too. Thank you, bro. Bye bye. That's my normal girl here, and she is really, really good. She's the best one in the in the place so all right so you're gonna get some bright sunlight here so shield your eyes hey went out to try to photograph the super moon last night with my canon camera i just could not get enough detail on it so those photos i won't be posting but um yeah we'll try again on the next one all right so we're getting on to north avenue heading westbound North Avenue, Route 60, U.S. or Illinois, Route 64, goes all the way to the state of Iowa.
know, there's faster ways for me to get to work, but this is the most relaxing, gets me in my mindset for the day. Um, that way I don't get to pay a toll, because out here all the roads are toll. And since I have an iPass, it's 75 cents a pop. Otherwise, I'm off the sensor. <clears throat> so enjoy the ambient sounds and uh, the visuals. No music, no nothing, just... lost my signal. I'll be right back. Oh, you have to go downstairs to work? So you work remotely? I used to work remotely for my previous company. Because they were in Seattle while I was in Chicago. Um, but I used to travel constantly to Ohio, Cincinnati, and Cleveland, and then out west to Portland and, Portland and Seattle. Um, but I don't travel like that anymore. It was one week in Chicago, one week in Ohio, one week in Seattle at Portland. And it was every week traveling, and it was on a rotation. I might have two, oh, two weeks, a, a, uh, three weeks a year that I didn't travel. But here I can work from the office. I can work from home. I can work from the road. So I have the flexibility. I have internet in my car, my company pays for it. Um, company pays for all fuel in my car. And I got a lot of perks and benefits um, in the company with my position. I'm probably today going to be done. I, my typical day, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, is I work 8 a.m. to noon. And I'm on call 24-7. Tuesday, Thursdays, depending on the week, depending on what's going on, uh, 8 to 2.30 for driver meetings. Um, weekends off, major holidays off, uh, vacation time, you know, all the fun stuff. Um using my vacation in November this year to go to Austin for a family event. Next year, we're going to be going to Alaska in August, mid-August. Um, year after that, we're going to be, you know, uh, week after Thanksgiving, I have my group cruise. So uh, we'll be on the Wonder of the Seas out of Port Canaveral. Um, more information on that will be coming out soon, the Rock and Roll Tribute Cruise. Uh, just waiting on final dates from Royal. Um, and, uh, the bands are locked in, um, then we're in the process of getting sponsors for the events, uh, to cover the expenses because we want to be able to turn a 100% profit for helping hands for cruising. Uh, the goal on that cruise is to raise between 250 to $500,000, uh, for helping hands for cruising so that they have a permanent fund to be able to send people on a cruise, send recipients on cruises. Um, every year, or I'd say uh, every week of the year. Um, additionally, um, on that cruise, we're going to sponsor five recipients of cruises from Helping Hands for Cruising. So we'll have more information on that coming up soon. Um, and of course, our travel agent on it is uh, Bruce with Ocean to Ocean Travel. So We'll keep you updated as I have more information. We're in the process of putting everything together right now. And that's co-hosted by myself and any of those studios. Any other streamer uh, in our community that would like to participate as a volunteer. Um, you know, of course, there will be no... I'm not able to give complimentary cruises. However, we will provide you with some kind of perk uh, for, for being a volunteer. 
and also we'll put you down as a co-sponsor or a co-coordinator of the event. Also, uh, just kind of update, uh, 8 o'clock Central today, 9 o'clock Eastern, is uh, get-together with Eddie Lugo, JNS Adventures, Cruising and Spawn, and the Luster Hill. Make sure you check them out. Uh, also, um, the uh, Friday Night Live stream will not be happening this week uh, with, uh, on my channel due to the holiday. We'll be back on September 8th. People come over once CME uh, travels, uh, traveling uh, comes to an end of their stream. Of course, I don't want to draw people away from them, but um, you know, hopefully they'll come over afterwards. They're running right now until about eight o'clock. Um, I may or may not be on when they come on, but you know, catch this in the replay. You know, hit the like button, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell select all if you'd like to help the channel anyway my paypal link is below um, typically if the channel needs equipment that's what that money is used for if the channel needs no equipment or no um, cost covered 100% of the donations uh, through paypal are given to helping hands for cruising So about 90% of what we receive in uh, support uh, to PayPal, since we don't have monetization yet, um, 100%, about 90% of what we bring in goes to Helping Hands for Cruising. 10% covers our operating expenses, which are very minimal. Uh, run a lean and mean channel. Also, make sure this evening, uh, at 6 o'clock uh, Central Time, 7 o'clock Eastern, check out Parker's On The Go with their Talk To Me Thursday event, uh, Talk To Me Thursday show. Of course, it's Brandon's birthday this week. Not only that, uh, we need to congratulate Charvon for being selected in the Carnival Cruise Line Grant Program. Some like finalists, you receive $2,500. She's in a group of uh, 10 or 12 uh, creators that receive that or travel agents and she's in the running for the final prize of five thousand dollars which will definitely allow them to grow their channel and their business We got an ambulance coming, gonna go in front of us. This is a village of uh, Carol Stream on the right uh, and the left. Uh, on the left is Wheaton. The grocery store over here on the left is one of the best grocery stores in the Midwest uh, called Caputo's. Uh, they're a local company. <coughs>
You can also check my past uh, blogs and streams on my channel under my playlists. I have a variety of playlists, including Disney-related events from uh, four years ago. Um, the uh, Disney convention down in Indianapolis that raised funds for Give Kids a World Village. Got a feature there with performances by Yeehaw Bob. Little bit. I'm going to show you guys something interesting out in uh, Batavia, Illinois. I'm going to go through there, which is called Permi Lab. It's the home of the National Proton Accelerator, where they collide uh, photons and protons to create energy and also under get a better understanding of physics. So we'll be going by there as well. One of these days, I will take you in there and drive around the property. And they do have some unique things to see, including a herd of buffalo that they've had there for 30 years. So one of these days we'll go out go through Fermi Lab. It's open to the public. Um, and it's got its own community and of course office buildings and scientific science, uh, science labs, etc. Pretty unique place. They also do a tour there of the Proton Accelerator that you can take. It's free. It's only on certain days of the week and in the afternoons.
So my allergies are on fire. Um, usually for the first three hours every morning, we go like it's about 10 o'clock when things start to warm up, the low levels go down. western suburbs of Chicago when the weather is good and this winter you'll get to see it when it's bad when we have snow on the ground I'll do a stream as well Also, if anybody's a Disney fan this weekend, weekend, and it will be live streamed on Saturday, is the D23 convention at Walt Disney World. Um, this is the smaller uh, convention. Um, in even years, they do the big one out in Anaheim. Uh, in odd years, they do the small one in, uh, in Orlando. So you might want to catch that on the Disney D23 uh, YouTube page, they will be live streaming, and this year they are celebrating their 100th anniversary of the company. So there should be some very unique things going on during the event. Um, also, anybody who also follows the Disney Park, cast previews have started for an Epcot or Moana journey, journey uh, of water. So that should be opening up sometime soon as well at Epcot Center. Um, so keep your eyes open. I'll keep you guys updated as I hear more information. Right, I'm turning south now on Prince Crossing to go down to Geneva Road to get to the office. And then over on the left used to be a drive-in movie theater that is no longer in existence. Uh, closed down uh, due to COVID. No plans in reopening it. Um, we're talking about making an industrial park. Like, we need another one of those. And then the area surrounding us is, you know, public forest preserve land. Uh, corporation right here. But as we get past this company, um, we get more into residential. Uh, up here on my left is a forest preserve and a parking area for the prairie path. Uh, that's Timber Ridge Forest Preserve. And then this is right here, crossing right now, is the prairie path that runs all the way from Elmhurst, Illinois, which is a western suburbs of DuPage County, just east of where I live in Addison. And it goes all the way out to Iowa. Uh, it's a bike path and walking path. Um, it's also part of the Great American uh, Trail. So, avid bikers, that's the area. A private school here, Wheaton Academy, one of the best schools in the United States. Uh, they go from uh, kindergarten all the way through high school. There's this unincorporated area, it's called Winfield. Lots of walkers out here, joggers in the morning. You can see school is back in session here. Been back in session for about three weeks. So the western suburbs start earlier than the city of Chicago. The city of Chicago started uh, last week. Preserve on my left. We have a lot of public land out here. Um, pretty much all of Illinois has a lot of public land. Um, 
you know, Chicago itself started that with the full lakefront being open as public parkland. Nothing is built on the public parkland for commercial purposes. It's all for people to enjoy. There is uh, one building that is east of Lakeshore Drive that would be considered part of the parkland, but it's actually the only commercial property east of uh, Lakeshore Drive. Um, it was called Marine, or not Marine City. Those are uh, uh, Lake Point East uh, building. Uh, famous people. Oprah lived there. Eddie Van Halen, uh, Valerie Bertinelli currently lives there. Um, and right commercial pier, which has now been turned into an uh, entertainment center or entertainment district on Lake Michigan in downtown Chicago with a Ferris wheel, restaurants, attractions, boat rides, fireworks every Wednesday and Saturday during uh, the summer. This is the last weekend of all of that. So, now we're in an area called West Chicago. I love auto braking. back up here. This is not like this area. Must have had a train go through up here. Yeah, they definitely had a train go through. And now there's another train that went through down the road, causing the backup 
So they must have had a freight train, and now the one that went through is a commuter train. They have a very large commuter rail network here in Illinois. taking a little longer than normal today. Normally at this point, I'm already at the office. General Mills cereal uh, plant that closed down about seven years ago. It's been vacant ever since. There's a few companies taking up space in there, but not much. So all this empty land that we're about to go through is on the left is farm, on the right is farm, but straight ahead is the Fermilab facility. 
uh, that I was mentioning, which is a proton accelerator. You know, the U.S. is proton accelerator, and they do a lot of work in conjunction with CERN, which is the uh, proton accelerator in Europe. Um, I believe it's in Norway. I don't remember Norway or Switzerland, uh, but they do a lot of work together. And it helps understand the physics of the world and also there's alternative energy sources that are sustainable. left my county of DuPage, now we're in Kane County, where I work. So the town that I work in is called Aurora, Illinois. It's actually Illinois' second largest city. Chicago is first, then Aurora, then Springfield, our capital. So it's actually larger than our capital. turn on Kirk Road. I'm facing west and we'll be heading south. <clears throat> the construction that we're doing here is going to be a new facility that is going to be used by the company up ahead on the left side, um, you know, everybody might know. Uh, the company over here on the left side is the North American headquarters for Aldi. Uh, Aldi's a German-based company, uh, grocer, and this is uh, their North American headquarters. They actually test products here in the back of the building, uh, this main building here. 
and then they have their warehouse as a distribution center over here, and then they're building this building that I showed you uh, for um, the uh, additional warehouse space that's needed because they're growing so far the best. And then here is Suncast on my right, which is where they manufacture all those sheds. This is actually called Kirk Road. It turns into Farnsworth and Aurora. <clears throat> and the outlets, the major outlet malls, the Chicago and outlet malls are up here as well. By my office. And then here at the light, to the left, is one of the entrances for Fermilab, the National Proton Accelerator. And they have another entrance up at the next light. And all the land on the left, from this point uh, up, uh, let you know when it ends, is all um, for Fermilab. So it's five miles on each side in length um, square. So it's a very large facility. the other entrance we just crossed over. Right here at this light is the end of Fermi Lab, and the area to the left is all housing, cookie cutter houses, and townhomes. Coming up to the office here in a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and start closing things out. Um, as I mentioned, like, subscribe, and share. Uh, don't forget to click the bell. Select all so you get all of our notifications of when we go live or we have a new uh, blog. Um, this Saturday, we'll be going live from uh, our road trip to Michigan uh, to go shopping for peaches and blueberries. Uh, also visit a couple wineries. Uh, then, our Friday night live stream will not take place this week due to the holiday, uh, but we will be back on September 8th with the cruise group uh, discussing um, interesting topics within the cruise industry and general you know, questions and, of course, a lot of humor. Uh, so feel free to join us then. Uh, if you want to support the stream, the information is scrolling below. 
on our, you can make a donation on PayPal. We get 90% of the money that we raise uh, on the channel goes to Helping Hands for Cruising. Only 10% is used to support the channel. Um, and, you know, if you like what we're doing, make sure you let other people know and also let other people know about us. Um, we're look, always looking for new ideas, so feel free to uh, contact us through our website, orangeconeblog.com. And we have a form there you can make suggestions for topics or guests uh, that you may want to see on the stream. Or if you have any questions, you can submit them there. And we'll definitely uh, take questions. And, of course, we're going to be starting a segment after the first year called Question of the Week. We're going to select questions from um, our community in regards to uh, anything related to cruising and travel. So please make sure that you uh, submit questions and any information. Um uh, to us uh, through our website orangeconeblog.com also you find links to our partner channels uh, in the cruise group community and uh, there'll also be uh, coming soon a uh, forum where you can post questions and get answers from other users so uh, we have a lot of things in the works right now we appreciate your support we appreciate your time um, and again I'll be ending the stream here in a few moments in my office, but make it a great day. Make it a positive day. And remember, positive thoughts create positive results. So every day, be positive. on Saturday. With that, Archie Cohen Vogue says we are gone for the day. We'll talk to you later.